Hello, my friends. I welcome you to another episode of Hatte Pet Talks. And today we have Mr. Ramit Chhabria, and he is joining us from Bombay. He is an entrepreneur who has been working in this field for uh, the last eleven years and has a lot of experience in founding startups. And he has done so multiple times. Welcome to the show, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Aditya. How are you doing, Aditya? I'm fine How's as well. How are you doing? Yes, sir. It's That's an honor to interview you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Likewise, for the yeah. benefit of of our viewers, can you tell us about your background and how you came to this point in your life? What were the challenges yeah. you faced over the course of your life, and what was your journey? Uh, so <clears throat> I'm just your friendly average BCom graduate. Many people believe that after BCom or during BCom, we want to pursue uh, chartered accountancy or we want to do an MBA. we want to grow climb up that ladder but my journey had been a bit different since the day i stepped into my college i saw a lot of potential businesses i was always into startup i was always fascinated by startups and uh, there came a day where some of our colleagues seniors uh, some of my seniors were looking for someone who can manage social media pages me being a really noob guy who doesn't even understand the real meaning of social media and had uh, jumped in and had shown enthusiasm uh, enthusiasm that bro i want to do it hey i want to do it i would i'm eager to learn so technically that was an unpaid uh, first unpaid internship that i did that it was for my college and then college taught me how these social media pages work and then there was no stopping then there was like oh there were committee members so i belong to a really fancy college called jehan college where we have around 50 to 60 events happening inside the college which is like the environment over there is like a parade everyone is enjoying to the fullest everyone has their own tasks everyone is just you know living the life to fullest being a student you are not you know exposed to a lot of business environment but that like i started approaching these 25 committees who were hosting multiple college events i started asking them hey i'm managing my college page can you you know extend your college pages to me i like extend your committee pages to me and they were like yes we are anyway looking for someone to handle it we'll pass on the burden to you so that we don't have to worry about it content was my responsibility posting was my responsibility and there were hundreds of other things that i had to take care of soon while exploring while learning and with the help of my professors i got to learn there are a lot of softwares available in the market which are free to use and we can can streamline all social media posts i started charging everyone i my i still remember that the first income i made from college committees were 2 the plus not money but 2 the plus for my breakfast and it became a journey then i started oh it's getting better and better uh, if you go down the line 2 uh, years uh, fast forward i got exposed to marketing i was always eager to learn and explore marketing space and you won't believe as it turned the thing happened it i believe that was like a turning point of my life a senior of mine came to me hey amit you manage social media pages really well would you like to explore marketing basically you need to pick up the phone call a sponsor ask them bhai paisa dena this was my job <laughs> so i was like i was intrigued i was like okay let's do this this sounds exciting i get to lock, i get to talk to a lot of people so that's where i understood that i like to speak with a lot of people on a daily basis i wouldn't say 5 6 7 but i used to make hundreds of calls to sponsors hey uh, this is amit calling from jain college we are hosting this event it started all it started all uh, in in that manner and one year again working on two the plus and one chinese bill i i developed a skill of asking for money hey uh, so i went up to my colleague or a senior of mine hey i think i should be paid for this service because i'm doing well instead he offered me something really lucrative i mean i'll make you the vp of this committee would you be interested i was like okay i'm ready but i would i also like to be marketing head of this committee so again i wanted to bring in the money element uh back in 2015 and 16 in my 20 uh, 20 2015 and 16 academic year i started exploring 
I started learning and I started deep diving into the whole management criteria. And uh, this was soon recognized by my college and I was part of ESEL. ESEL is basically entrepreneurship cell. And in 2016, 9th of January, I started with the company called RetroSoul. Fascinating name, like uh, we came up with Retro Souls, like recruitment and solution. Retro and souls. Now, we were not sure how to go about recruitment. We like to recruit. We liked HR. We loved HR because we wanted to get jobs. Now, the thing was we wanted to give, we wanted to enable students, professionals to get the right match for their uh, skills and everything. We were struggling. We didn't even know how to, uh, from where we are going to start. Now the thing is, I had asked a few friends of mine, hey, would you like to join my team? Best I can do is share one table of mine which I'm getting from the college. And they said, okay, let's do this. Let's start. So we started. In 2016, we saw a really, you know, okay, we are making money. We are making okay money. We are able to run our pocket money and we are able to afford those BlackBerry 400 rupees plans. Because that time back in the days, Blackberries were showstoppers. We would be able to afford that. That was the whole, that was the entire goal. Because till today, till that time, we were not seeing uh, the bigger picture, how we can take it ahead, how we can take it to the next level. Okay. Now, in 2016, many of the people started giving their CAT exam. And you would, uh, I would like to say, in peer pressure, feeling that I need that burden on my shoulders as well. Let me prepare for CAT. But my agenda for giving the CAT exam was totally different. I wanted to enhance my skills. I wanted that pressure because I wanted to handle my situation well. Now, at this point, my startup, RetroSoul, was not doing great. It was just like, it was seeing a very straight line. We were not um, making money. Most of the time, we were sitting at college in front of a laptop, Googling random, sh- random things. Or just, uh, you know, enjoying rains, enjoying pay plus, enjoying the tiny bill that we get. We were doing that. As soon as uh, we gave a CAT exam, as soon as we were done with our studies in 2017, everything was, you know, college was over. I graduated in the year 2017, April 2017. Everything came to a pause and reality hit. You know, okay, now do I need to get a job or should I continue my startup? Now, that was the biggest question. Um, The thing was, in my era, in my, uh, you know, time, being so young was considered being naive in business sense. I never got support. uh, I never got support from my dear father, though he supports me now, because that time we didn't have a really good financial condition. That time we were struggling to manage our day-to-day expenses. Um, that was the time. Uh, touch wood, it's not today. That's not the case today. Uh, the thing was, my father spoke to me and he said, "All right, uh, let's do this. You take up a job after some time, leave it, and continue on a startup if you wish to." So basically, he wanted me to understand the power of money. Money gives you motivation. So I learned my first lesson from my dad he told me Amit earn something before jumping into the field and uh, being an Agyakari beta I was like okay I will get a job so I took up a job and my first job I earned 9,000 rupees for a month and that changed my mind 9,000 rupees from a job soon I left that company because uh, the thing was I wanted to explore the thing I am very much inclined to is sales and marketing. I like talking to people. I like, you know, human interaction. I like to have that kind of environment where everyone is networking and not only me. Okay. So I yes. jumped into any other field. And this time I wanted to learn about recruitment. So I joined a Netherlands based company called Corporate. So I was with them for a decent uh, one and a half year plus. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I understood a lot. And the thing was, um, now I was also focusing on the startup, but not at a very extensive level. And then I had to 
take a like no i need to do my work i need to go i need to get into the best kind of you know entrepreneurial line and i need to achieve uh, the my goal was achieving a certain level of you know seriousness with the company i started because the company was registered everything was you know in place it just that i didn't have manpower and i had i didn't have that confidence in me right yes. so i was struggling to have that confidence uh, man i really need to do something man i really need to go for go for it i i was procrastinating as well but then um, i joined i left corporate and joined another company and i was engaging with them for a decent four to five months and then it struck me if I, that the my the thing was i was doing sales for them and we did really well i was getting commissions so i go uh, during a certain month i got commissions of over 3 lakhs now that was just the 10% of business that, that i got in like 3 to 4 months of my joining and this time i wanted to do it for my own i took a step i stepped down from my position i stepped down uh, from majority of luxuries in life that my job gave me and i started focusing only on recognition uh as the thing uh, just going a bit uh, ahead of the topic the thing is many of the people told me entrepreneurship is scary amit being a businessman is not easy open up a shop sit at shop give it off Uh, no, I'm not made for that. And neither are you. You should be achieving. You should be planning for a bigger goal. Yeah, I was reading a lot of books during my 17, 18 journey, 17, 18, and 19 journey. And the day I went forward for it, the day I decided, no, today I'm going to use my laptop only for my business and no entertainment. Netflix has spoiled me. Netflix has totally spoiled me. my friends whom i used to hang out in college were having fancy jobs where i was working at just 12 15000 right so it strike me i can do it for myself i can achieve i can go for it and uh, if you see uh, entrepreneurship is not glorious we believe that working late at night is achievement sleeping for 4 to 5 hours getting up working out getting on your business is an achievement but i believe working for four hours on your thing on what you believe in is impactful just four hours give four hours of it full concentration just focus no distraction no talking to your girlfriend no watching netflix series especially stranger things that has come out recently not even going out and meeting your friends until your tasks are done right maintaining discipline i started maintaining discipline and it started with food because i believe uh, that the food we eat help us go through the day yeah so let's just say i start eating cereal i start eating corn flakes i start eating roti sabji good things to have but being disciplined okay i want to have this much portion one second one second. so i believe that discipline starts with food so started being very disciplined like let's just i'll have this much portion or whatever i have i'll have limited portion of it i won't go and over eat okay yeah at a point i did i i accept my mistake uh, i was foodie i still am a foodie by heart but after jayesh coming into my life i have reduced that uh, level of foodie because the thing is uh, having consuming a lot of food doesn't make sense because our body doesn't require that much food and having that discipline having that portion in your life helped me gain more confidence and understand oh this much work needs to be done which this, this much discipline has to be maintained in order to achieve what i want so in late 2019 Oh no! In late 2018, late 2018 August, I believe, I got my first paycheck from Retro Funds. It was four thousand seven hundred and fifty-six rupees. My first income from my start after college. So 
are above in the future and i think you will achieve a lot with your startup like yourselves thank you for sharing your story uh yes sir so um as a businessman and an entrepreneur you have like for over 6 years can you share your experiences and learnings from your ventures like you started freshness india uh, and then you started uh, uh, like your souls both of these startups what were your learnings from these and what what would you like to share with us uh my biggest learning was staying consistent <laughs> honestly uh, when we started retro source we were not consistent back in 2016 startups were just a gimmick still are gimmick because entrepreneurship again is not glory to be a successful entrepreneur you need to stay consistent ha huh. consistent in executing and not just planning because that's the job of a procrastinator i'll plan i'll execute tomorrow i'll plan okay i'm not ready with my plan yet i'm not ready to execute but yeah getting into the market with whatever you have even it if it is not complete the market will help you complete it even if it's a perfect completion okay when uh, we started retrosource we were naive we were not having a lot of knowledge and the sad part was we were rejected by mentors i was yes. rejected by mentors अरे रिक्रूटमेंट रिक्रूटमेंट में मेंटरशिप नहीं करते आपको क्या है एक दुकान ले लो बैठो और ये करो दिस वॉज so yo okay, kid yeah, mentorship was an issue but then we started that we will do the learning by ourselves me and three really cute friends of mine has started this journey of learning and actually sharing it sharing it with others so we trained we helped and we enhanced people who were in our vicinity and network then we took a step that we want to start fit india plus we want to be fit and why only we will we will help everyone and for staying consistent we will reward you that was our plan and we went forward with it and we uh, engaged a lot of people who came on board who came you know joined the community and were actually working out how the trick was we developed a reward based system but you know the best part was there were families the individuals or fitness enthusiasts there were families who were working out because they got sick to or they got glued to the app and they started walking 10000 steps a day mind this this is one uh, guy with his wife uh, his mother and his father they are walking at least 10000 steps together just to complete the goal they have set and it was fascinating up there yes. it was such a wonderful thing and uh, there's one more story like this and all this happened because we stayed continue uh, every state consistent and continuously were in trying to improve our mechanics our application and yeah we were we were uh, and still our ios exclusive we are try, still trying to improve our strength but the thing was there's another story and uh, it was the really heartwarming story um in 2021 still colleges and schools were running uh, you know uh, online ex- online i believe you are still going to online um classes and examinations i believe right uh it just changed like recently only one or two months ago yeah it, school school began one or two months ago yeah. yes you are enjoying school right <laughs> yes uh, i i go to a dummy school i currently do not go to a school because i wow. uh, i am preparing for iit je and so wow. i basically don't study uh, at school that's good that's nice Just so uh, there was yeah. there was a father who was working out who was walking who was exercising to get his child a pair of air force so that the child could appear in uh, his online classes really that touched me 
that was the moment i realized oh, we are really impacting life not only through fitness but actually people you know doing something for others or for themselves and for their families well being so that was one great learning yeah there were there are a few negative learnings as well so i don't know how many people talk about uh, negative learnings but the negative learnings were over it stressing out in a in a very small situation yeah we still do it and what makes it worse is four cups of black coffee so if you are stressing out please avoid having coffee either yes. black or normal one so just do that please.